Shalom and Baruch Haba. This is still basic Hebrew reading, and I am still Rabbi Don Levy, and you are hopefully still a student interested in learning to read Hebrew. So in the last lesson, we learned the word ata, meaning you, in the masculine singular, which brings us to the third word. And even as a beginner, you can see that it isn't a word at all. What you see on the screen is a letter, hey, followed by an apostrophe. What gives? What gives is this. The hey apostrophe here substitutes for the personal name of God. Surely you've noticed how, from the beginning of this course, I've been rendering the noun for the Divine One as G-D, inserting a dash for the missing letter O. This is a fairly common practice in traditional Jewish circles. It has to do with avoiding writing the Divine Name in any medium that is not going to be treated as holy text. The Holy One is known by a number of names, but two in particular are considered to be so personal and so powerful that using them lightly is avoided at all costs. The name Elohim is one of them. Okay, it's not really spelt like that. I've rendered the third letter as a kuf, a letter which you'll officially learn in a later lesson. The name is really spelt with a hey as the third letter. It is usually translated God. The other name is spelt yud hey vav hey. Trust me, you'll learn all these letters in due time. This name we don't even know how to pronounce. Some Christians and others will say Yahweh. But in truth, nobody knows how it was really said. And if it was indeed said Yahweh, you wouldn't hear Jews saying it. So why is that? It's because the most personal divine name was only uttered by the high priest in the Holy of Holies on Yom Kippur. It was considered too powerful to use by anybody else in any other place at any other time. We find it written on a Torah scroll or in a printed chumash or Tanakh. A chumash is a Torah, the five books of Moses, Genesis through Deuteronomy, in book form. It also has the haftarot, excerpts from the prophets that are read after the Torah on Shabbat and festivals, and commentary. A Tanakh is a complete holy scriptures from Genesis through Second Chronicles. When we encounter this divine name, yud heh vav -Hey, during liturgical reading of the texts, the reader says Adonai, meaning my Lord. When just discussing the text, such as in a shiur or class, the more traditional usually say Hashem. Hashem means the name, sometimes Adoshem, a hybrid of Adonai and Hashem is used. The only other place where we typically see the divine name yud heh vav -Hey spelled out is in a prayer book, a siddur or machzor. The siddur is for use in weekday, Shabbat, and sometimes festival prayer. The machzor is for the days of awe, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, and sometimes for the three pilgrimage festivals. In these prayer books, the divine name yud heh vav -Hey is rendered in its actual spelling in passages that are actually taken from the Torah or Tanakh. In prayer, the reader says Adonai. In the parts of the prayer book that are post-biblical, usually rabbinic writings, the name is rendered yud yud. The reader still says Adonai. In almost any other book, even a religious book that will most likely be treated with utmost respect, the custom is to write hey apostrophe, and when reading out loud or quoting verbally, to say Hashem. In that spirit, 
During this course, I will use hey apostrophe in place of the divine name. When translating into English, from here on, I'll say Hashem. Now, I know what you're thinking. Remember, I'm clairvoyant. You're thinking, this rabbi is pretty sneaky. This is a course in basic Hebrew reading, and the lesson I've just finished was all about Jewish religious practice. And my response is guilty as charged. It was a bit outside the basic parameters of the course, true, but useful information nevertheless. And so, dear student, I've just taken up 10 minutes of your time on something only peripherally related to Hebrew reading. But I promise that the next lesson will include reading Hebrew, because at the end of the day, that's why we're here. Again, at a boy or at a girl for completing another lesson. Looking forward to seeing you for the next lesson, lesson four. This is Rabbi Don Levy, representing Jewish Journeys. Shalom. Sim, pa, fogue, yes, la no.